Don't you can't be doing that now. That ain't gonna that crap ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And we're going into aerating and seeding, uh, where typically if you have a lawn care company that would manage your yard and do your plugging for you, uh, they may have something like this, more of a commercial grade or commercial line of equipment uh, that can get things done really quickly, really good, really efficiently. Uh, this happens to be a Stinger. It's the ones that we use. They're super fast. They do a really good job. And they can tear things up in a hurry. And then I'll stop just for a minute to get, <laughs> get, get my thoughts get and, thought, yeah, and just, figure out what I'm doing. Just flow right on into it. Yep. Yeah. Now for a DIY guy, you may go to Home Depot or to the rental store and rent you a walk behind plugger. All right, and it's really no different. Maybe a little bit slower, but you can still do the same amount of damage. Now I've got a full blown irrigation system in my yard and I don't want it tore up. So there's a lot of different ways you can mark or flag your irrigation head, but I personally prefer an actual flag that you can stick in the ground like that. Uh, you can take spray paint and mark them. Uh, you can set a softball or a baseball there. Anything to give you a visual so that you don't run over it with this machine. Now on the flags, when you buy these at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, they typically come about twice as long. Well, I like to cut them off, one, so they don't bend easier, and two, a lot of the times people will stick it in the ground at an angle, and so if my, my irrigation head is here, it's showing the flag out here somewhere, and so I'm nowhere near the irrigation, and I think it's okay to ride right here, and I end up tearing the head up. So I cut the uh, flag about halfway off, and I'll stick it straight in the ground right beside the head. Now that right there is the business end of things. You can see... That's pretty devastating looking. Look at how hardcore that is, man. That thing would tear your irrigation head all to pieces. Now, I've been pretty fortunate and blessed that I've got a pretty good irrigation system. And I use this rain bird where I can control it from my telephone. So what I'm going to do is go right here and I'm going to manually run the zones. And they're going to come on just long enough to where we can get a, a flag stuck in the ground right beside the head. So there you go just make sure you get those heads flagged so you don't have to cause any extra money to be spent after you're plugging because man the last thing you want to do is go digging up a head and replace it once all your hard work is done so like subscribe and share and tell all your buddies i appreciate you watching check you later